Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Michaels. I'd like to thank you for coming today and agreeing to do this. I understand you're a little confused and I promise I'll try to make this as painless as possible if you can even feel pain. Now I understand you are in a state of limbo not quite of this world and not quite of the afterlife. Yes. Okay. You have nothing to fear here. We need to ask you a few questions and do a few tests on you. And I'd like to help you go from your non-corporeal form that you are in right now, your ether state, into a more solid corporeal form and in that case we could do some further testing to possibly help you. Would that be acceptable to you? Okay. Thank you very much. I am a uh, PhD in astrobiology and in this case I'm not quite um, an expert on your condition but I understand how ectoplasm works and what we're hoping to do today is capture a little bit of ectoplasm from your essence without harming you. I don't know if this was explained to you before but where you are right now is a quantum time bubble um, like a time machine. What you see around you is a bubble of energy that allows you to suspend the gravity well of time and space of the earth and we are moving with the rhythm of the entire universe. I don't know if you can understand that. But basically we are unfettered by the reality created by the earth going around the sun and the gravity well that we all exist in. If you know anything about Newtonian law. Okay, isn't that right? That's a little before your time. Okay. <clears throat> what I'd like to do today is help you relax and get you more focused so that we can get you into a more solid state. And to do that, I'm going to ask you to allow me to perform a cranial nerve examination on you. Not a complete one, of course. Some things won't work for you. But complete as far as we can do with somebody who is basically in your condition. Okay, thank you very much. The first thing I'd like to do is try and see if you can still smell. Now. This is a very common smell that you might be used to. Can you smell it? It's very, it's very potent, but it's harm, harmless. No? Okay. So no olfactory. Let's try one more. Okay. Okay. Now this is a very strong smell very common. Can you smell it? No. Okay. That's all right. Thank you very much. I understand. Okay. The next thing I'd like to do is, is examine you more close up. probe. I would like to just check some things. Okay. All right. Um, basically, I, I don't think I can make contact with you. <clears throat> can we now 
simple test for eye movement. Okay. I'm going to hold these fingers up, focus on my nose. When you see one wiggle, that's right. That's right. That's correct. Okay. All right. Now, taking my hands out, let me know when you can no longer see my finger focusing on my nose. Okay? Okay. Hmm. And up. Okay. And down. Okay. Focusing once again on my nose. Please let me know when you see double. Okay? Okay. And okay, and once again. Okay. And on the other side. Okay. Okay, very good. Now I'd like to use this light source. It's harmless. Try to look inside your eye. I'm not sure we're going to have a lot of success with this, but we'll try it. Okay, and and your other eye. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me look at this eye one once more. With the best of your ability, with this smaller light, I would like you to follow it with your eyes. Okay. Follow the movement. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Let me write some things down here. next part of the test, I would like to um, first put some uh, lotion on my own hands. Spilled it everywhere. Okay. And uh, basically this is going to protect my skin from any damage I might get from coming in contact with you. I hope you don't mind. Thank you very much. And basically this is going to provide a barrier between us. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it so far. Now let me get my gloves on. I guess I am very glad to have you here today. I understand. We will help you um, with contacting your loved ones at the completion of this test. No harm will come to you. I promise you that on my oath as a uh, doctor and as a professional. The idea of this test is to try to get some ectoplasmic material for study because we believe we can improve our time technology. If you don't mind, I, I would explain it to you, yes, very briefly. I have a device that was given to me by a, another culture. And that allows me to do this quantum time bubble. Now how it works is at the moment of a person's death, the pineal gland 
deep inside the brain releases chemicals. And these chemicals put the person into a state of almost the easiest way to explain is eternal sleep. The subject is neither dead nor alive, similar to your condition. But it's all here in the mind. And this chemical slows down time and space and allows that person to relive or to live moments in their life. A person can live literally forever in this chemical breakdown of time and space where the clock hand stops moving. Time is irrelevant at the moment of death for the person inside their mind. Most people relive the happy moments of their life completely hours and hours and days and days of joy. It's like going to heaven. Eventually, in this broken down time and space moment inside their mind, a connection outside the time and space gravity well that we live in occurs and like a small strand allows the person to leave this plane of existence almost like a bus ticket. The conductor takes your ticket, checks it, and you're allowed to go to the next train station. Yes. Good or bad, this seems to happen to every human being. These aliens that brought this technology to me discovered this link many millennium ago in their own race. And what they found is using technology, um, using science, they could connect with people at that moment in time and space when they knew when they died. And they are able to time travel because time is irrelevant. If you know the day and the time of a person becoming deceased in the physical body, you can time in on that, or not time in, you can set a timer, you can put your alarm clock on it, and pick up on that strand, that super string of chemical information connecting you to outside the realm of this world. Like a super string, so you don't understand super strings. It creates a time line between that person's time and the time you are in at the present. So I'm in 1947 and we're going to talk to somebody in 1934 and we know what day they died. We set the alarm and when we focus on that point in time with our alarm clock, we can connect. And I, through this time bubble, will bring that person and myself into the same place and time in present. I'm no longer in 1947. I'm actually with them. I've time traveled. There are limitations. I have to stay inside this time bubble. That's one limitation. And of course, the other limitation is they are still going to die. So basically, what I do on occasion is offer these people a chance to live inside a miniature quantum time bubble for as long as they would like. And this allows those people to live out a utopian life that they might not have had in reality. In your case, I cannot offer very much help. We did not know the time and place of your death, but 
a person in your case is caught between that other dimension and this plane of existence. And we are able to find you because of the chemicals. Markers are identical to a person who is deceased. That's how we found you. The aliens that help us told us this is an anomaly that they do not work with. They allow people to stay in the limbo between worlds, between dimensions. But we found there's a possibility the ectoplasm of your non-corporeal form may aid us in controlling the quantum time physics. Whereas you are suspended between time and space, if we could figure this out, we too, through this material, could stay between time and space, neither here nor there, and time travel outside this quantum bubble. It is possible. And with your help, we may make it happen. Now if I take my hand, my hand passes right through you. I can't hold you and I can't touch you. And there is no evidence of any connection between us. Your ether, you're the air. But somehow you're still here and you're there also. And you can think, you can communicate with me, you can see, and you can record things that you see. If you start to think about this process, you can become a valuable agent of the United States government if you choose to be. Thank you. Now, now that I've put on my gloves, I'm going to use some cotton. I'm going to clean my hands off my gloves. This should be the only part of me that comes in contact with you with some alcohol. The reason for this is we want to remove any bacterial components that might be on my sterile gloves. Okay. I appreciate you letting me take the time to explain that to you because I do think it's important to why we brought you here. This next material I'm going to spray on my hands. Okay, this material will help us connect. We're hoping. And last but not least, this material may make you more corporeal. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to give you a little spray. Okay, hold on. Is it harming you? Do you feel any discomfort or pain? your arm. Do you feel it? Slimy. Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can get a sample of that. Hang on. I gotta get a tissue. <laughs> you spray a little. Seating through my gloves. Uh, Alright, hold on a second. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, I have I have a stronger glove. No, none of it got on my hands. Um, 
Just try to hold still. Oh, these gloves don't fit. These are stronger. Get that in the trash. These are a stronger glove. I'm only going to use one. Okay, um, here's my sample bottle. to try to get a little bit of that ectoplasm off your arm. Okay. It's not working. Hang on. Here. Let me put it inside the bottle. Alright. There we go. Just the smallest amount should help us resolve this issue. Is it harming you in any way? I'll stop. Okay. Let me try and get another sample. Do you feel any discomfort or pain? Okay. Just a little more. Let me take a little more off this arm. All right. And just a little more and we're almost done. Okay. That's good. That's good. Inside the oh god, I think I got some on my fingers. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let me excuse me. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me get this glove off. goes in the trash. All right. No, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is very new to me. Um, it's a little off-putting, but we're both professionals here. Okay. I'm not sure what it's like, but now that I have you in your corporeal state, if you would like, I can do okay. oh, they warned me not to touch that. I'm feeling a little ill. done nothing wrong. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. No, I'm all right. I'll, I'm just going to finish up. We're not going to do the rest of the test. No, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, I'm all right. I just want to check uh, the inside of your pupils real quick. Now that you're in a more corporeal form, if I may. There we go. I just want to pull back your eyelid just a little bit. And look inside your cornea. Okay, the last part of this test is, no, I'm all right. We're gonna use a very similar material spray. This spray will reverse the effects. And you'll go back to your limbo state. Now, just
just in case we break contact in any way, you have my personal word that no harm will come to you, and I will put you inside a smaller version of this quantum time bubble, and you can live out your time that you'd like. But you're free to go any time. You're free to be released at any moment. What your wishes at this point are very clear to us, and we will, we will honor your decisions. Okay, let me spray this and we'll try to release you from your current quasi-corporeal state. Okay, just a little more. Okay. I gotta get some alcohol on me. Where's that stuff at? Are you starting to feel better? It's not your fault. I was warned not to make contact. I got a little bit on my fingers, I think. It's... I, it's a little unnerving, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of emotions I'm having, but I'm not out of breath, but it feels like I'm breathing underwater. Is I don't know. I feel better. That helps a lot. <coughs> okay. I got a little of this on my hands. Should help clear it up. You can, um, we will bring people to visit you. And once I put you inside the, your, um, holding cell, um, you'll be able to experience things, memories. We can put chemicals in there that mimic the release of the pineal gland, and we can help you. We can help you. Dr. Andrew Michaels, and I'm here to help you.